All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new Minecraft episode. So, hey, look at this. We got a dog right here. So today is actually time to head into the nether. It's been quite a long time since I've been there. I'm actually have to go there because, um, yeah, we need to start making potions and stuff because I want to go to like my water monument, which is underwater. So we need potions for that, which means that we need to find a nether fortress, which has blaze rods and stuff like that in it. I'm just going to sort my inventory a little bit and I'll be right back and then we'll just head to the nether straight away. Because we need to begin exploring. And let's see, we need to bring flint and steel as well as obsidian. Because if I manage to find another fortress, um, I want to create a portal which leads back up again. And we can just use that as an entrance for whenever I want to head back down there. So let's see, 11 obsidian. Is that enough for a portal? I think so, right? If we make the corners from another block. Uh, so we can just bring some cobblestone for that. So yeah, I think 10 should be enough to make a portal. Just gonna sleep real quick. Let's see, I may have to bring... No, we don't need any more food. I think we're actually good to go. So we're gonna go down there using the nether portal that is over... It's over there somewhere. It just, yeah, it's not loading in. <laughs> no, Pikachu has not come back. Some of you guys told me that I could actually use the command... Um, slash teleport Pikachu, like, to me or something. That will actually disable my achievements in the game. Which I still want to keep, of course. See, unfortunately, I believe Pikachu is gone for good, which is quite sad. Here we are. So we're still in this stupid soil sand biome, which I can't run in at all. As you can see, it makes it go super slow. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna look a bit this way. That looks like something. But I'm pretty sure that's a bastion. Which I haven't actually been to. So yeah, we can actually head to that one sometime. But I don't think we'll do that today, because we are looking for a fortress. We're gonna take a left over here, and yeah, hopefully just end up somewhere cool. Hopefully I found some cool stuff. I mean, I'm not sure how long I'll be down here, honestly. I might be down here multiple episodes because I want to find the nether fortress. I'm not really sure what the best strategy is either to try and find one rather than just running around, you know? So, oh no, there's pigs here. But these guys are cool, right? You're friendly, right? Yo. Yo, we good? Yeah, we good, I think. Dude, you're so tiny, but you're actually quite scary. I hate the nether, man. Okay, we just gotta stay focused, and hopefully nothing bad will happen. Like falling down there, or something. <laughs> always farm some nether quartz here, just to level up a bit. Because, yeah, we need to hit... Oh, there's lava right there. We need to hit level 30, so we can do some more enchantments. Uh, but, yeah, don't wanna die in the process. I'm actually thinking of just digging straight one way like this. And just seeing where I end up, honestly. I think I might do that. And honestly, with my luck, I might even find some netherite. Who knows? Just gonna keep on digging. Oh, okay. That wasn't a long dig at all. I only brought 64 cobblestone. Not sure if that's enough. But it's gonna have to do. Oh. Oh, what up, guys? Don't mind me. Oh, no. no. Those pig-looking thingies are not friendly. As far as I know. So, yeah. Just gonna stroll past here and hopefully they won't attack me. Yeah, one of the main reasons that I want to find... Um, another fortress is one. I want to find blaze rods so we can start making potions and go to like the underwater monument and stuff like that and Then I also want to try and find wither skulls so we can fight the wither later on So I feel like that would be a quite cool thing to do and uh, let's see is that the bastion? No, I don't think so. That's a new biome though. That's a red forest biome Okay, also what are these things in the lava? Oh no, let's see we can go this way But there's a lot of lava that I need to cross uh, so maybe I'll dig up a bit first, so I won't have to go over too much lava, because if like a gas or something shoots me down, dude, I'm dead. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so gone. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get all of these quartz right here. Gonna make sure we don't dig into any lava. Oh, okay, that's just fire. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was lava behind me. I'll have to build across again. <laughs> dude, I hate this so much. I just feel like the game could mess up and just accidentally like let go my control key, which would just make me fall all the way down. And dude, just burning in lava. i will be quite upset, not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, oh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Surely I won't burn to death. Stop burning. Come on. There we go. Why do you burn for so long and why does the lava move so fast? Okay, so I've been digging for quite a while here. And we just stumbled upon lava, which isn't that good. And look at our beautiful pickaxe being max health, thanks to mending. Because you actually get XP from mining these things, so. That's really nice. Okay, just a bunch of these guys. I'm um, just gonna stay up here then, honestly. Let's just keep digging, like, over here. <laughs> because I don't know, like, too much about the nether. I'm not sure if they will attack me or not. I can't quite remember if I need to, like, carry gold or something. Ooh, this looks like a new area. Wow, super open area. Look at this. Bunch of lava, bunch of quartz, too. So, let's see. Let's keep heading this way. I'm seeing bone blocks over there. It means that this way will lead to soil sand, so... Just gonna keep going this way. Ooh, ooh, red forest biome. Okay, nice. Whoa, whoa! They're attacking me. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, why did they attack me? <laughs> I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded, mm -hmm. dude. This is not good. I've died like this before. I just heard them all begin to chase me. <laughs> why, though? I don't know, man. I don't like those guys. They're so unpredictable. I know that there are, like, two different variations of them, and some of them just randomly attack you. So, yeah, honestly, you're just gonna keep going this way, and hopefully they'll just forget about me, and I can just be on my way. I'm just digging my way into the ground. What are these things? What's that? Crimson fungus. That does not sound tasty at all. Let's just clean up the inventory a bit. Get rid of some of these netheracks. I hate stuff like that when I have no idea what's really going on. And somebody just starts attacking me. But see, these guys don't attack me. I think these guys are actually the good guys. Even though they look a lot more intimidating. But it seems like the more cuter ones... No, we're good, right? Yeah, we're good. I'm sorry I didn't call you cute, but you know, your, your other cuter guys, they're not as friendly. You are not friendly. You're standing there looking all cute, but nah. I don't trust you at all. I don't trust... I don't trust... No. No, 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 no. He started coming at me with a bow, dude. No. No, 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 no. No, you're good. The thing is, if I start attacking the cuter ones... Will these guys attack me as well? I don't know. I'm just gonna try and step across here by the lava. Which is... Might be a very bad idea, but there's a big open space over here. And I just wanna see if maybe I can see another fortress. Let's see. These are all ugly. Yeah, they're all ugly. Sorry to break it to you guys, but you're very ugly. You're very kind, but you're very ugly. Let me go across here nice and easy. Not even gonna bother you. I'm not bothering you. Stop. Oh, I saw something over there. What is that? Might just be a render bug. I don't know. Back to the soil sand. Everything just goes blue. Like, I can't see anything. I'm not sure if I'm heading the wrong way right now. We're sort of going back to the soil sand biome. Which, yeah, I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. But, we're doing it. This guy's riding a chicken? In the nether? I feel like that's gonna be quite rare. Like, why is a chicken down in the nether? I've never seen any other mob than, like, these kind of mobs down here. What is that? Dude, I'm not trying to kill you. Just stop charging at me and just going the opposite way. Nope, nope, nope. One of those guys. Nope! Nope! Nope, nope, nope! Nope, no, thank you. Why are they everywhere, dude? I don't like them at all. Oh, Jesus, okay. No, don't like this area. But I don't like this area either because, yeah, I don't really see anything here. Let's maybe try and go over there instead, into that area. I've been here. Are you kidding? I've legit been here. There's dirt everywhere. Oh, dude, how is that even possible? I've dug for so long in one direction, and I somehow came... That is a lot of piglins. I'm not gonna go that way. Dude, how did I get back here? I don't understand the nether, man. See, I keep finding so many of those, but yeah. Still no nether fortress. We should survive this fall, right? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't entirely sure, but yeah, it looked like I could make it. Um, maybe it's safer down here, not as many Is that something? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, those structures look very straight. Almost like another fortress. Ooh, 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 wait a minute. Look at how straight everything is. A bastion is more like complex. So that has to be a fortress, please. One of my portals is actually up there, so... This means that it's also pretty close my area above ground and there's a bunch of these guys and i'm not sure if they attack me or not they don't look too friendly considering they're standing on lava i'm also not sure how much damage they do so should we maybe build above them instead yeah let's do that let's just go up dude how have i missed this fortress i mean if this <sighs> let's go dude blaze rods right there that can only mean one thing we found the fortress oh let's go and it's super close to home as well dude that is so sick we can legit just make a portal right here which will lead me straight to the fortress and the blaze rods Hell yeah, let's do that. Okay. Dude, what? How am I on fire? Stop! Jesus. Just randomly caught on fire. I'm seeing wither skeletons too. Oh, let's go, dude. Man, it's gonna be quite sketchy to head in there. I think I actually need to go and upgrade my sword. As you guys know, I only have smite 4 as for now. So what I can do off camp for the next episode is actually go ahead and work on the enchantments for pretty much all my gear as well as my sword. Just so we can be completely kitted out before we finally enter our first nether fortress here. Which I've been waiting for for a long time. But let's see, we just gotta do this. Okay, so where's this gonna take me then? Right next to the fortress. This can actually be very close to my house. Hmm. 
completely different biome, almost. Wait, where is this? Big levitating block. Ooh, that's pretty cool. The portal actually spawned like right into a little cave here. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this. We're actually gonna build like a little tower here just so we know where this is. Oh, it's raining! That's like the first time ever it's actually raining in a Let's Play. So let's do this. Just build a little something like this. We can also set the coordinates, of course. Um, oh, there we go. It stopped raining as soon as I went this way. Oh my god, creeper zombies behind me and there comes the rain again. <laughs> See what's happening. What is happening? We're like right at the edge of the rain here. So it looks like the one that is close to my house. And I think my house is over here somewhere. I'm not sure though. Yeah, there it is. House is right there in the sky. Nice. Okay, we made it back and we managed to find a fortress, dude. Let's go. How have I not seen that fortress before? That is insane. It was so close to one of the portals as well. Um, yeah, that I placed out previously, so really not sure how I missed it, but yeah, somehow I did. There we are, back from the nether. I'm just gonna, yeah, sort my inventory a bit. Uh, where should we put the nether rack? This chest is gonna get full. Yeah, yeah, we need to get some more chests going. So I'm actually thinking of maybe expanding the house a bit later. So we can like make a staircase up here, which will then lead to another floor looking identical to this one, which will have more chests in it. Um, yeah, I guess we can do the same on the other side over there too, to make it look symmetrical, of course, from the outside. And to make it look a bit nicer. I also asked you guys for name suggestions for my dog, which is... Yeah, he's still sitting over there. And one of the comments which also got a lot of likes was to call him Julius. Because my dog is called Caesar, so Julius Caesar, which is like a Roman Empire back in the day. So yeah, Julius, or J for short, I guess we can call him. Um, it's actually a pretty cool name. But yeah, there we go. We managed to find a nether fortress, finally. So in the next episode, I'll be heading over there. And we will officially have our first adventure in a nether fortress. And yeah, just get up to a bunch of stuff. We're gonna be fighting blazes, wither skeletons, all types of stuff. And of course, explore the nether fortress as much as I can. But that's gonna be for today, so I'll catch you guys later. So until then, take care.